Lesson 2.6, Solve Problems Using Data in Bar Graphs. We can solve problems using data that is represented in bar graphs. You need to have seen the video, Use Bar Graphs, that was 2.4, and Make Bar Graphs, that was 2.5. We're now at 2.6. They're linked in the description in case you need them so you won't become lost or confused. We can use a model or write an addition or subtraction number sentence from the data in a bar graph. Answering questions about the data helps us better understand the information. Lisa's class voted on a topic for the class bulletin board. And the bar graph, which I'm going to show you below, shows the results. How many more votes did the computers receive than space? It says how many more so that's a clue to subtract, and we can use a model to find the difference between computers and space. So we need to find how many more votes did computers receive than space. So here's our bar graph. It's votes for class bulletin board topic. We can see the topics are books, health, computers, and space. Books are six number of votes. Health is eight. Computers is 10, and space is in between the 2 and the 4, so it must be a 3. We need to find how many more votes did computers receive than space, so we need to compare computers to space. And we can count back along the scale to find the difference between the bars. We can skip count by 2's starting at the 10. We skip count starting at the 10, 2, 4, 6, and one more would be 7. The difference is 7 votes. We could also start at the 3 for space and count on to find how many more. 3 and going to 4 would be 1, plus 2 more is 3, and 2 more is 5, and 2 more is 7. But it's a lot easier to skip count coming back, isn't it? And then adding the one more between the four and the three. We could also write a number sentence to find the difference between computers and space. Computers is 10 and space is three. We can do 10 minus three is equal to seven. So we know seven more votes were for computers than space. How many fewer votes were for books than for health and computers combined? The first thing we need to do is find the total for health and computers. It wants health and computers combined. Health is 8, computers is 10, 8, 10. We add them, 8 plus 10 is equal to 18. Now, we need to find the difference between 18 and the number of books. We subtract to find the difference between books and the sum of health and computers. Health and computers is 18. Books is 6. We do 18 minus 6, which is equal to 12 fewer votes for books. How many students voted for the bulletin board topic. We add the data from each bar for a total. We need to add 6 plus 8 plus 10 plus 3. 6 books, 8 health, 10 computers, 3 space. We start in the ones column. 8 plus 6 is 14, plus 3 more is 17. That's 1 10 and 7 1's. We regroup the 10 to the 10's place and put the 7 in the 1's place. We add 1 plus 1 for the 10's. We get 27 students voted. Here we have our bar graph about favorite colors. Did more people choose blue and red or green and yellow? That means we need to add blue and red to get a sum. 
then add green and yellow to get a sum. Let's take a look at the graph. We need to add blue and red, so we're going to need to add 8 and 4. Then we're going to need to add green and yellow, so we need to add a 6 and a 3. It's in between the 2 and 4, so it must be a 3. We need 8 plus 4, then we need 6 plus 3. 8 blue and 4 red is equal to 12, and 6 green and 3 yellow is equal to 9. 12 is greater than 9, so more people chose blue and red. How many people didn't choose blue? We can add the data for red, green, and yellow to get a total. Red is 4, green is 6, yellow is 3. We do 4 plus 6 plus 3. 4 plus 6 is 10. They're friendly numbers because they make a 10. Then we can do 10 plus 3. We know it's 13 people didn't choose blue. So we can solve problems using the data, the information in bar graphs, and we can use a model or write an addition or subtraction number sentence and answer questions about the information. We can use the scale to help us skip count back or forward to compare the bars and the totals. We can even find the total of all of the numbers by finding the total of the numbers for the bars. I hope you have a great day. And I'll see you next time. Bye.